Hey. There he is. Let, we're going to warm you up. Are you driving right now or you got somebody else driving? Somebody else driving. My guy. Okay, we can do it. So, here we go. First of all, let me let me just jump this on. I used to play Madden back in the day, and I played NBA Live back in the day. My guy, Mike Love, is 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 rocking that that crop cut. You know what I'm saying? The one that, I mean, no waves. You know what I'm saying? So, we, you trying to go afro? You trying to keep it? What are we trying to do with that? Honestly, right now, I'm just going with the flow. At first, I just did a regular all-even afro, and then, uh, this week, I tipped it up a little bit more. So right now, it's just in that early stage of just letting it grow out and see how far I can get it, you know. Okay, I'm a, I, I'll, I'll give it to you because usually whenever whenever I, was in, whenever I was in creative mode, creative player mode, whenever they gave you that, that crop cut, I got rid of it. I just gave myself a nice fade. Right. Right, right. <laughs> I'm not roasting you. I'm not roasting. I'm just keeping a, I'm keeping a buck. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I usually go with the ball fade, but we, we're going to try something different for this year. You got you got to change it up. I appreciate that. So listen, man. I, I know you're driving. I hope you can hear me nice and clear. I want to be able to hear you. You kind of faded out a little bit, but I can still I can still rock with it. Okay. Yep. I'm pulling in my place right now. I walk right upstairs. You'll hit me good. But we can we can continue. Cause I can so you know what? I'm 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 gonna do my best to stall it until I get you nice and comfortable. Cause I want you to be nice and comfortable. So uh, as you as you drive up, I'm gonna do my very best reporter like slash you know what I mean social media type guy. I'm gonna try to kinda of keep it keep it gully. So do you even play Madden? You are you a video game guy? I'm a video game guy, but I'll be honest, I'm uh if it's sports, I'll say UFC, uh two K. Uh I apologize for all the Madden fans out there. I do not play Madden, I'm sorry. But Wow. Okay. If you wanna play I believe that I can win. You know, I, I can beat anybody. You know, just you know, you know. I'll, I'll so know. you don't play Madden, but you, okay. So are you an RPG? Are you just are you a sports guy? Do you play RPG games or what? What's your deal? FIFA, UFC, 2K, Call of Duty. I tried the um, Apex. That's a little tough. But, um, Let me tell you something. Uh, Ocho Cinco claims he's the guy when it comes to playing FIFA. He will beat down and whoop down anybody. I I don't play FIFA as much. I want to try to get into it because that game is is wild. But Chad Ochocinco says he'll he'll whoop anybody in any time. I you like might have me. To challenge right there. I like me. If you know him personally, let him know and set it up, please. I like <laughs> me. Okay. Hey, well, hold on a second. You. It seems it's sunny. Where you at right now? Where you living? Uh, in Sherwood, in a town called Hamburg. And Buffalo. Where's that? Hamburg. Oh, so you in Buffalo? Yes, sir. You in Hamburg? Yep, Hamburg. Okay, so I'm not I'm not too familiar from uh, in in like cities and and places in Buffalo because I'm from Canada, so uh, we up north. Okay. Right now, okay. I'm in I'm in I'm enjoying my Raptors right now. Uh, in in playoff mode, we're about to put the put the stomp down on the 76ers today, so we were gonna make it move. For that game, I can't wait for that game, man. I was Hold on. So I'm still surprised what happened with the Boston. You're surprised. Not so. You can't be surprised, man. Yo, the Greek freak is nasty. Yeah. It's his year. I know. And a three-point percentage is ridiculous right now, man. It's, it's, look at you giving me some basketball stuff. Okay. Well, let, let's let's get right into this right now because I know now you're comfortable. <laughs> you're comfortable now. We I did, my, I did my job of stalling, so let's get to the shits. All right? So we are here. Let me just introduce everybody. We're here with my guy, Mr. Mike. Yo, can I, can I call you Dr. Love? Yo. Can we do that? Some people call me Love, Dr. Dr. Love, Mike Love, Love Buddy, Buddy Love, whatever you want. <laughs> oh, Buddy Love. Yo, okay. Love. <laughs> Yo, okay, let's do this. Okay, so check this out. Um, rapid fire questions. We're just going to warm you up. I kind of warmed you up a little bit, but I'm going to ask you questions. There's no time to think. You just, I ask the question, you just answer it, and we go from there. <laughs> okay. You ready for this? Let's go. Here we go. Rapid fire question. Ranch or blue cheese or blue other? Cheese. Blue cheese. Blue cheese. All right, cool. Away uniforms or home? Home. Okay. September games or November games? Trick question. September. September. Oh, oh, oh okay. I'm going to get back to that question because that was a trick question. Here we go. Your, your go-to dish when you're back home in Florida? Baked beans, fried chicken, and macaroni. Okay. All right. So you got the southern look. I like that. Yeah. Rihanna or Cardi B? Ooh, Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> your favorite. This is gonna show your age. If you, if you, your favorite Golden Girl. 
Golden Girl. You're probably like, what? Huh? Who? Who? Uh, okay, you're not, you're not gonna know about that. I'll say Sophia. I like Sophia. For those that are a little around my age, I'll say Sophia. Blanche is alright too, but we keep it moving. Yeah. Um, <laughs> grass or turf? Turf. No, grass. Grass. Definitely grass. You want grass. Okay. Grass. Um, here's a trick one for you. Fred Jackson or Marshawn Lynch? <laughs> Marshawn Lynch, man, he 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 funny, man. That's my dude right there. He's okay, funny. Marshawn Lynch. Okay, I'll give that to you. You might get roasted by some of the Bills players, but and it's some Bills players. Hey, I rose back. Whatever they trying to do, I rose <laughs> okay. back. Okay, okay. Here we go. Um, best dressed on the team. Ray Ray. Ray Ray McLeod. You know what? I'll give yeah, Ray Ray McLeod. Ray Ray. Definitely. Yo, my guy Ray Ray has swag, boy. Yeah, I I yeah. gotta give it to him. He got it. He even got even uh, Saron, Saron Neal could he looks like he got a little bit of style himself. They they both connected in a, in a way, you know. They hang out a lot, so they got similar. But Ray I knew Ray it. Got, I knew it. Ray Ray, Ray, Ray Ray been doing that. Okay, Ray Ray, do, he does have some. He does he does have some swag a little too. Um, who is the funniest guy on the team? Shaq Lawson. Shaq Lawson. Hands down. You know, I, I asked Dion, I asked Dion Dawkins who the funniest guy. He said it was Trey White. That's they both the, the funniest and the loudest, but I'm going with Shaq Lawson. Shaq Lawson. Okay, I'm gonna get okay, Shaq Lawson. If funny. I have to give you top three though, Shaq, Robert Thomas, and Trey White. Funniest. Oh, hey, okay. Robert Thomas is a funny man. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that on my mind. Here's one for you. Who's the biggest teacher's pet? That's the brown noser. Teacher's pet. Oh, you got me snitching, man. Hold on, now. Hold you don't on. got a dry snitch. You don't got a dry snitch. You don't need to. <laughs> hey, hold on. Hey, I think me and you can, you, you know, we, we'll call back. You know, you, you hit me up personally. Okay. <laughs> we, we'll, we'll, we'll do that later. We'll do Harry, that later. Get it, man. Harry. Harry, man. Harry. Oh, Harrison Phillips? Oh, yeah. I hope he watching, too. You know what? He does look like a teacher's pet. <laughs> hey, coach. Did you want me to go do this, coach? Hey, coach. Do <laughs> you want me to? <laughs> All right. We won't say nothing. We won't say nothing. Uh, whoever watching. Okay, four three or three four defense. What do you prefer? Four three, four three. Four three, okay. Standing up or hand in the dirt? Hand in the dirt. Hand in the dirt, my guy. Who would who did you cheer for growing up uh, as your NFL team? Who was your team? Uh it was the Bucks or the Ravens, because I love Ray Lewis. Uh okay. How old are you right now? I'm twenty five. Oh, you're 25. Okay, you're a young buck. You're a young buck. Golly, it's craziness, man. <laughs> Yo, I feel like I feel like I'm still a young buck myself. And I'm talking to guys that are 10 years younger than me. It's craziness. All right. Oh, man, let's I thought you was in your 20s, man. All right, listen, man. Black don't crack, baby. Yeah, Black don't crack. You know that. how that goes. Okay, so check this out. Your NBA team, who you root for? Rockets. The Rockets. Okay, so you you full-blown in playoff mode right now. You guys are a little lucky right now because my guy might have an Achilles tear. I don't know. Hey, I know one thing. If Durant don't play, we, we, we win in the series. We win it. So. You better win it because Stephen A. Smith just said today, if you guys don't win this, he he all the trash. You can feel me? So I warmed you up with some easy questions Golden, right Golden, now. So Golden State can't do nothing with Durant, you know, without Durant anyway. They need Durant, you know. They need so we're, about, we're about to find out. So you better put your money where your mouth is. We're about to find out. We can bet. So, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so we got Mike Love, Dr. Love, Buddy Love, Mr. Love here with us with Buffalo Fanatics, your boy Rico. So I warmed up Mr. Love with some easy questions. So now we're going to get to the shits and get to really what's good. So you went to school in Florida, Countryside High School. <laughs> huh. I did my homework. I know a little bit. Yeah, so I, I I live in Canada, right? So we got the CFL over here. And um, I, I I chopped it up with a player, by the way, by the name of Elston Langster. I believe this, that was his name, Langston. And so Elston Langston, anyway, he told me back where he's from, he was from, I think he's from Atlanta. He says, we know in high school who's going to the league and who's not. Right. Would you, would you agree with that statement? Yeah, in a, in a way, yes, because you see the potential and you just, you know, hope that they continue that, uh, you know, that greatness that you see in them. You know, a lot of people always say, yeah, man, that man got a chance. He got a chance. He can go to the league. So, you know, I believe in that statement, yeah. You believe in that statement? Because yeah. he was saying Young Thug. He says, yo, I know Young Thug, and Young Thug could have went to the league if he took ball serious. That boy could throw up football like like you wouldn't believe. I didn't believe it. But he says, you just know. You know who's A class and who's not. Yeah. So you know. went to high school. I don't know who went to your school. Were there any guys that are in the league now that you played with in high school that are doing it right now in the league? Uh, 
We had one, but I don't think he's in the league anymore. His name was Tyler Moore. But when you saw him, you know, the way he played, his size, you know, his physicalness, like you knew he was going to the league. And he went to a great college, uh, Nebraska, and then he went to Florida. And then I think he had a, I don't know if it was a tryout or anything, but he ended up going to the league, you know, like we, Easy. Knew, for, we knew for a fact he was going. You know. See, in, see, I don't know, like, when I, I played for the national team, right, and we went to Texas to play, and at the time, we always thought the mecca of football was Texas football. So we went, we thought we were playing against the, 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 the ballers. But these Florida cats, I don't know, man, there's a little something different about you guys. What is it about these Florida dudes that you guys are bred differently down there? What is it? I don't know. It must be something in the water, but. Uh, something in the water. <laughs> I don't know. So, we. I don't know. We just we blessed with a lot of speed and athleticism. And when I look at Florida, that's all I see is speed and athleticism. And I'm sure when you look at Florida players, you see the same thing. I mean, I don't know. You know, we just blessed with it, you know. And I, I always agree that, you know, it's, it's Florida over everybody, you know. Speed. I see, I see speed. I see athleticism. I see guys that are never, ever, ever afraid to put their head down and go up against anybody. Right. Yeah. That's what, I, that's what I know about Florida Cat, right? Am I am I wrong? Am I lying? No, nah, you're right. You're right. We, okay. Yeah, they make so, not down there. Countryside. When you were again, when you were trying to choose your school, what choices did you have? What schools were you ready to choose to go to? Uh, my top, my last three choices was Nebraska, West Virginia, and uh, USF. And, Why'd you choose USF? Uh, I, I wanted to stay home with my, with my mom. You know, I wanted to be close to the family so they could come basically watch me in our backyard. We're all from Tampa, you know, that whole area. So, you know, it was, I knew it was a, that's where God wanted me to go, you know, because all my family would just come watch. You know, my mom couldn't afford a ticket all the way up to Lincoln, Nebraska. You know, my whole family couldn't come there. So that's one of the reasons I stayed there. And once I went there, I loved the vibe, you know. I love that it was just, you know, smack in the middle of Tampa, you know, one of my favorite cities. So, you know, that was just a no-brainer at that point. You know. Yeah. See, I appreciate that, man, because a lot of times, a lot of times people don't want to stay in their city because right. they're trying to focus. So further away from the city, you get to focus strictly on, you know, I mean, your 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 studies and football. When people yeah. stay home. Right. I get that. too. Get I get that, too. But it's like, why not put on for your city? You know, why not? You can stay home, you know, and still focus. You know, that's just you prioritizing and you handling your business the way you handle it. You know what I mean? Just because I was home. You know, I wasn't distracted because family was there. You know, it, it'll make you more focused, you know, especially to all the kids who think about staying home. It makes you more focused because you get to put on for your city. There's nothing better than, you know, to do, you know, doing that. Okay. So you go, you go to you, you go to USF. All right. So you there. Freshman, you get hurt. Yeah. What happened? What happened? Man, I don't know. I was. Low key was just living, you know, living wrong, you know, not getting in the training room, getting treatment, you know, mm. staying up late. That's how your body doesn't get the right recovery that it needs. So I was just staying up late, you know, in that college life, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, doing everything at night. So I, my thing, what happened was my body wasn't rested. So I kept staying up late, kept going to practice and I ended up tweaking something in my knee. And that was my first surge, my first injury. And I ended what, up what was the actual injury? Uh, just I had to get a, uh, uh, it was called a uh, micro fracture. Yeah. Okay. That's where they yeah, go yeah, and just know. replace cartilage and stuff like that. So do you, do you feel bad damaged cartilage over time? And that, do you still feel that? Do you still feel that pain now? Or that's that's long gone. Oh no, nah, man! You know, once you, you know, once you get that in your mindset that your body is your business, you start to take care of it more. And that's one thing that I, you know, I try to do a good job is, you know, I take care of my body, you know, get extra treatment, make sure, because, you know, this is your, this your business right here. You know, this is everything, it, you, got, you know, you got to make sure you putting the right fuel in it, you know, everything. So I, I, I totally respect that. So you have, you do what, three years, three years at the, excuse me, four years at USF. Uh, five. No, you did five. Four, I was you did four five and years. Half, five, four and a half. Yeah, because yeah, because you you redshirted it a couple times. I think you you redshirted your first year, second year, and then I think uh, you played a little more. So I, I'm getting into something here because if you look at your statistics, it's not something that's like wow, right, right, right. But I was watching film, and when you watch the film on Mike Love, he may not 
be glaring, get you stats like crazy, but he's always around the ball. Right. So what is it that you do that makes you so close to the ball at all times? You're always near the ball, around the ball, they're doing something. What's the deal? What, what is your thing? Uh, a lot of preparation, you know, practice. Uh, just, you know, during practice, man, you you know, I, I always just ran to the ball, ran to the ball. And that's one thing that I always instilled in my mind is just effort. You know, you always want effort, you know, no matter what you're doing. And and, and that's what got me to the ball. Cause I, that's what got me out of high school was my effort. I was always around, okay. like just said, I was always around the ball. So I just continued that, you know. I felt like I didn't do a lot of effort, you know, in, in college. I should have, but I did a good good enough job. But, you know, you know. Generally speaking, effort, man, is what really, you know, got me to the ball a lot. Effort. That's what stands out. I'm telling you right now, that's what stands out on film. When yeah. you see a guy hustling, you're like, you're there to focus on another player. And you're like, yo, hold on a second. Who's number 98? Right. Making all them play. Like, okay, yeah. I see that. So eight, eight and a half sacks over your time. You know what I'm saying? Fumbles created. You know what I mean? 40 times. On the D-line, it's a little different, man, because when they game plan against you, it's, it's hard sometimes. Double teams, you yeah. getting chipped. I get it. Yeah. What do you what are you listed at right now? What's your what's your height and weight? Uh six three and a half and uh two fifty five. What do you run your forty? Four seven. But four seven? I believe I'm a four six. <laughs> I, I wanted you I wanted you to say that. Four six, okay. Yeah. I can handle that. I can handle that. So you do your time at at uh, at USF. It's time to now figure out what you're gonna do for football. Mm -hmm. Right? So what what are they saying in your ear when you declare and you say, all right, I'm trying to go to the league? So are they telling you where you're projected to go? Uh, are you hearing things that are positive, negative? What stays in your mind when things are like that or that are happening? Uh, doing that During that process, it's, it's a huge process, but you're thankful for it, man, because you got an opportunity. You know, so you, you got your agent, you know, you got uh, your coaches who uh, know scouts, but your agent mostly do, you know, all the – sniffing around, seeing how teams are uh, looking at you, what do they think about you, you know, what do they project you at. So my agent was always saying positive things. Uh, teams always had positive things about me. You know, some had a little negativity, but I would say it was more always on the positive side, and I was always projected five to seven. Okay. So, you know, once I heard that, you know, coming out of college, you know what I'm saying, started training, it made me work harder, you know what I mean, during that okay. process. So. That whole process of the, you know, the draft, I was grinding, grinding, and, you know, they kept saying five through seven, five through seven. I did a couple pre-draft visits. Uh, I did a regional combine. Uh, same thing, uh, five through seven, five through seven. So, you know, when I didn't get that call, you know, you know, it hurt a little bit, but it, I got the opportunity, and that's all I needed, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's the thing, because I was talking, I was talking to, uh, to, you know what I mean, an undrafted player yesterday, in in Cam Lewis and I we talked about the same thing and he says you know what it's not even about getting that call it's just like right. I'm motivated you want the it's, opportunity you need you, you want get the opportunity just call that let me get my sh let me get my shot and I'll do the rest and I think that's that's where you're at right at this point yes sir. so okay so draft process happening you get the phone call before you get the phone call from the Bills how many calls are you getting and what made you say okay the Bills is the one that I, I'm feeling right now. Honestly, I was uh, I was getting quite a few calls during the draft process. Uh, you know, a lot of teams were saying, hey, we want you. Uh, you know, if we don't have a spot during the draft, we got a spot after. Uh, you got a home here. So I was getting a good amount of calls. Uh, and, but towards the end, um, I probably had like five teams who really, really wanted me to come, including the Bills. But it was just one thing about the Bills. Uh, they, you know, they always stayed in contact before the draft. Uh, you know, during that whole process, and they always stayed in contact. Uh, Aaron Whitecott, uh, the D-line coach, you know, he's always yeah. in my ear telling me, you know, how I would love the defense. You know, it was a 4-3, which I love. I could have my hand in the dirt. Um, so, you know, that was a no-brainer too, man. You know, and I always think that's God because, you know, everything works out for a reason. And, and I knew once I chose to go there, it all work out, and it did because I love the defense. I mean, I love the coaches. I love the culture we're building. And you know everything about that uh, organization, man. You know, you know, you know. It's good. Yo, how you feel so far about this interview so far? I like it, man. It's good. You, you know, like it? You, it's, the, it's the vibe is good. My first, second time on this live thing, so you know, I see. How Listen, you're gonna, get, you're gonna get used to this. You're gonna get yeah. used to this. Don't you worry yeah, about that. People trying to talk, you know. Someone. I see that, me, but don't worry about. It. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get. They're gonna have their opportunity. I'll get. I'll get. The, I'll get they that. Had it too, you know. But we're. <laughs> 
<laughs> we got that. We got that. So now that you on the bills, you get your phone call. So you're like, you know what? Buffalo's where I'm going at. Was there one thing that said, this is what, this is where I need to be. Was it a conversation with a coach? Was it other players telling you, yeah, that's the place to go? Were there, say, were there people saying, bro, don't do that, man. You don't go to Buffalo. It's not for you. What, what was it? <laughs> I, I, I ain't hear that. I mean, everybody was just proud that I got on the team. So I ain't hear the don't go there. But some people did yeah. give me the warning about how cold it was. But it's really not that bad. I mean, I, I, yo, listen, man, let me tell you something. It, it's we, not they soft. If you if you can't handle a little That's bit of flakes, flakes, you know what I'm saying? A Florida dude having a few flakes on his. Oh, come on, man, you yeah. stop that. Yo, ask Deion Dawkins, Mr. Snowman. He knows what's good, <laughs> man. Yeah, he knows what's good. It definitely toughens you up, though. So, yeah, man. Absolutely. I, I, I had a lot of people who were happy saying, "Man, this is it. You know, this, this is the place for you, man. You know, it's a great defense. A lot of people who knew about the team. Uh, so I had all good positive vibes going into that place, man. I like that, man. So. What was the eye opener? There was something that always stands out like, whoa, I didn't see that coming. What was the eye opener during your draft process, during your uh, your the whole thing about coming to a team, even when you get signed to the Bills? And my like, biggest, what is I tell you my biggest thing though was really uh seeing how much of a job it was. You know, it wasn't no longer uh -huh. you know, uh, you know, in college, you know, you got this to do, this to do. You know, this is your job, you know what I mean? You got to come to work, you know, be prepared and all that stuff. That That's what really surprised me, of, you know, the as far as what it is, it's a job. You know what I mean? It's just, mm. you're, you're a professional now. You got to do professional things, take care of your body. No one's not going to tell you you got study hall or you got meetings and you got that. No, nah, you know, you're, you're a professional. You got to do everything on your own. So that was a big eye opener for me, to be honest, because I didn't see that coming in. It becomes that way because now your body's your temple. You always hear your body's your temple. You got to take care of your body because right. you don't have your what you don't have your health. You ain't getting no wealth. Right, There's right. none of that. Yeah, you got to yeah. take care of the body. Okay, so <laughs> you, I, so I'm, I'm here with you. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta ask you a few questions because I asked these questions to Cam. So I'm gonna start asking you the same things, right? So when you're on the squad right now. And you going, you you're on the team already. You're ready. You're focused on this year. But then, the team starts. You know what I mean? Putting their draft boards together. I mean, you like us. We watching everything. We hearing everything. Right. So they draft Ed Oliver. You're saying they bring in. You know what I mean? Daryl. You know what I mean? For, in the seventh round, right? So now you're like, okay, there's competition to the to to the D line. Right. It's already a full house with Eddie Yarborough and all them cats. So how do you what are you going to do to I don't want to say what are you going to do? How are you going to stand out and make yourself, uh, you know, what I mean, elevate and be right. on this 52? No, I think, honestly, man, it's, it's always competition, no matter what you at, no matter what you're doing in life. You're always going to have competition. So, you know, never look at it and have your head down about it, you know. So as far as, you know, with me, you know, it's it's competition. It's football at the end of the day. Those are my teammates now. So, you know, we, we love each other up. But at the end of the day, you know, we, we compete. You know what I mean? And it's good because we all making each other better at the end of the day. So, you know, I like it. You know what I mean? You know, I, love, I love the competition. See, that's the answer I wanted because, I you know what, like, listen, Ziggy Ansa decides to go and sign with Seattle. Why would you do that, first of all? Right. You got a top five defense in Buffalo, and you choose to go to Seattle. Doesn't matter. But I'm making a point here. You now have an opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to really get it. Now, I will say this, though. At the end of preseason, Mike Love was making noise. Because I was like, who is this Mike Love cat that I keep seeing around the ball? And I was like, I need, I'm intrigued by this, right? Mm. Practice squad, they bring you on to the active roster. You have a legit opportunity to be on this 53-man roster. What is it that you feel you need to do to stick? What does my love need to do? Uh, just consistency, you know what I mean? Be consistent, you know, do everything right, man. And, uh, you know, that's really my biggest thing, man, is just consistency, man. It's work hard, be consistent, stay positive no matter what happens. And you know, you know, keep God first, and, and that's it. You know, that's my that's my little formula right there. You know? Man, Mike, I like you, man. I appreciate it, man. Yo, I like this guy, Mike. God, Big Mike. I'm gonna call you Big Mike. How about that? Yeah, yeah. I was I Big was, Mike. Love. I ain't trying to get off topic. I was just in Canada last last weekend, man. 
Oh, hold on a second. Let's talk about it. Where were you at? Just Toronto. We just walk around viewing the seat. Viewing okay, the let me hold on a second. Where in Toronto were you? Do you, do you uh, remember? We were at the that big mall, the um, the Eaton. Eaton. The Eaton Center. Yeah, Eaton Center. Yeah, yeah you were at the Eaton Center. How was it? Yo, how, what's the vibe like in Canada? How'd you, how'd you like it? I love the vibe there. It's all positive vibe. Everybody humble. I love how everybody, everybody dressed like hippie-ish and, you know. Listen. Like, not hippie, but. Like um, you don't gotta explain anything. There's a, there, Toronto. I, Toronto's I got. Fit, but I like it though. I like it. You never be able to explain Toronto style because there, there is it's a, a wide range of everything. You can see a guy in a three piece suit rocking Pumas. You like it's it's a different vibe. The it females. Are different. That's why I like it. Nobody cares. It doesn't matter. And stuff like that. It doesn't matter, man. So uh, even Florida, Florida cats are a little. They're just a little different too, man. They're a little out there with some of the stuff that they do. You know what I'm saying? A little bright. Hold on now, we, we be vibing. <laughs> I, I hear that. So, what, what were you there in Toronto for? Just kind of visit, just kind of walking around or what? My first time. I just had got my passport last week, so I decided to go up there with my girlfriend, and uh, we just viewed the city, you know, walking around and stuff like that. I'm going to tell you right now, mate, Canada is underrated, man. I don't want to say Canada's underrated, but, like, people only go to the Toronto because it's the closest. I'll tell you right now, make your way to Montreal. Make your way out west to Vancouver. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. I'm telling you right oh, now, man. Life. You gotta much life. Listen. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, listen, ladies and gentlemen, we talking to the man, my love, Dr. Love, <laughs> Buddy Love, uh, the man, you know what I'm saying, 56. So here's the deal, man. We're going into a – I like that. Yo, you know what? We need to get you uh, a BF shirt. We might have to send you some to, to rock when you're in the facility. You feel me? So Y'all got uh, uh, one of my teammates, Buffalo versus everybody. Buffalo versus everybody. That's how we roll. I you want? Ask, I keep asking him for that jacket, man. Listen, man, yo, it's a, it's listen, it's not, it's not even a conversation. We'll get you. What's your size? It depends how the jacket fit. I'm an XL, <laughs> 2X. We'll we'll get you some. Don't you worry about that. We'll hook you up. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got we got we got our guy Mike Love. Listen, Mike, I I honestly I'm telling every one of these guys on this squad. I want health. I want you guys to have the ability to ball hard. McDermott has some cooking, man. Is there such thing as process? Trusting the process is is it is it a thing? It's definitely a thing. You always gotta trust the process. You gotta trust everything, man. You gotta trust the coaches, everyone around the building. From the people who cook in the food to the people who, uh, you know, the equipment staff, you trust the plays. You got to trust the the, uh, the plan. You got to trust, you know, our culture, what we live in by. It, it's, you got to respect it. You got to trust it. You got to love it. I mean, everything, man. You know, it, it, so, when you get a team, a, a whole team who can do that, you know, that that's when you create something special. And I believe that's what we create in here, man, something special. What's Coach, what's Coach McDermott like? Great dude, man. Great energy, man. Uh, loves ball, man. And, and he just, he wants us all just to be on the same page, you know, work together, learn the system, and stick with each other. And that's, that's not much that he's asking. And for a coach who just wants you to play hard and stick together and, and, and play for each other, man, that's, that's the best team you can be a part of right there, man, you know. Is Leslie Frazier old school, new school? Is he like a player's coach? What's he like? He looks like a very old school type dude. He's a player's coach, man. He's a good dude, man. He's great defense. And, uh, you know, um, you know, he, he expects some, a, a lot of good things out of us this year. And I'm telling you, man, we, we're going to be good. We're going to be real good. Listen, I know we're going to be good. Yeah. Now, we're going to dive into the offensive side of the ball. We talked a little defense. We're going to talk a little offense right now. Mm -hmm. So, the old line room is going to be packed. You know I mean, we got a new center, we got guards, we got tackles. Good luck trying to get to Josh Allen. I'm going to tell you that right now in practice. It's not going to be easy. All right, I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm talking shit, and I don't give a damn what you say about it, right? <laughs> you can bull rush, you can swim move, you can rip move, you can finesse. You ain't getting into the quarterback. Now, I will say this, though. Josh Allen, talk to me what you know about Josh. I know you're on the other side of the ball, but Josh Allen, good kid? Great kid, man. Like. Loves ball, man, works hard, and that's all you want from a quarterback who just loves the game and will do anything, you know, to, to put a W on that scoreboard. So, you know, I love him, you know. Which team does the team collectively hate the most in the AFC East? Hate? Who y'all hate the most? Is it the Patriots? Is it the Dolphins or the Jets? Which one you guys hate the most? You guys get ready. 
I want to say hate, but you already know who we don't like, man. The people who keep wanting, you know, winning the AFC, man. Say, say the name. <laughs> Patriots, say, man. <laughs> Yo, know, say the Patriots, man. You already know, man. Patriots. How how hard is it to get to Tom Brady? Like you 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 hear the guys come back to the to the huddle or they come back to the sideline. I'm like, man, I almost had him, but oh, he got away. Like how hard how hard is it to actually get to that guy? Man, we ain't even gonna speak on that because you'll see this year how easy it is. <laughs> okay, listen, ladies and gentlemen, my boy putting out some hot takes. You're gonna see how easy it is. I like it. I'm not you know, I'm not even tripping because I think. That's exactly what's going to happen. With the new boy, Easy Ed, Mr. Ed, up in the middle of that three tech, Jordan Phillips going to be pushing that, Harrison Phillips. Yo, that D-line is stacked. Check this out. You got Trent, you got Murphy, Jerry Hughes, Shaq Lawson, Mike Easy Love, Buddy Love. <laughs> I'm going to put that in there. You got Harold. We got the new guy, Harold. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Johnson, Yarbrough, Phillips, Pico, Phillips, Oliver, Latule, Robert. Bro, that's a stacked room, man. All brotherhood right there, man. We all I love it. we all play for each other. It's gonna be something special. Yo, man, listen, man. I, I'm a, I'm keep it real. I'm honestly gonna be real right now, Mike. You're a good, solid dude, man. And yeah. guys like you deserve to be in this league. Like they need good guys like you, man. Like I can, you can just feel the vibe, man. I hope you. I wish you all the best. I want yeah, you to please. make this 53 man roster. Yo, bust your ass. Everywhere you go, my guy. Got you, man. Got you. You know you got supporters, the Buffalo Fanatics, the fans. Thing is, we do this, and I told Cam Lewis this yesterday. We have these interactions with players because a lot of these fans and members don't know, you know what I'm saying, who, the, you know I mean, other than the starting line, they don't know right. who the other guys are unless right. they do their homework. So yep. these these platforms are to give you an opportunity to, to chat. We get to know you, and, and now you get fans, man. Yep. And by the way, Unacceptable for you to be at less than three thousand followers. I know, Unacceptable. I, I I I gotta be on more. I gotta post more. I gotta I gotta be more active. Don't you worry about that. We're gonna we're gonna show you some love. Listen, we're gonna you get your followers. First, everybody jacket. I can post it, man. You know? Listen, don't you don't you worry about that, my guy. We're gonna get you. Your follower game is up. We're gonna get you decked out in some Buffalo fanatics gear, and we go from there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mike Love. Mike, I wanna I wanna appreciate the time. You give me your time. You're a busy guy, and I, I love the fact that you you gave the time. I want you guys. I want you to have a prosperous year, man. You Stay too. healthy. Yep, get sir. after it. I'm trying to see 56 on that field, man. Whether it's on the line or it's on special teams, busting up everybody. Got you, man. Hey, I appreciate everything, man. If you guys ever want to interview, you know where to find me, man. I appreciate. I got you. Listen, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you 15 seconds to kind of tell the fans about what's happening this year, what Mike Love is gonna do, and break us out, and we're gonna break this huddle. <laughs> Uh, tell, tell, hey, talk to the people, man. First, first off, I just want to appreciate all the fans that's on here. I don't know how many people on here, but appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for all your support. We pray that you continue to come to our games and support us. It's going to be a big year. I'm letting y'all know that now we're working extremely hard, man. It's going to be a great year for us. So I hope y'all looking forward to it as much as we are, man. And Y'all y'all stay with us, man. Stay with us, man. You know. I like it. Go Yo, Bills, listen. Bills Mafia, I love y'all, man. Yes, sir. Listen, it's Buffalo your boy Mike everybody. Love. Remember that. Buffalo versus everybody. Remember, I listen. I remember that. We're gonna get you that shirt, and you can floss that. So, guys, we're gonna get our guy with math followers. We're gonna show him some love. I appreciate the time, Mike Love. You're a good dude, man. I, I really want the best for you. Uh, yo, listen, man. Crack that fifty. Crack that fifty-three, baby. Crack that fifty-three. Hey, I got you, you. Listen. If you need my address, Go. hit me up on DM. Man. I got you, boy. I got you. I got you. I got you. Say no more, man. Say less. Listen, right. ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike Love. Mike Love, I appreciate that. We'll talk to you soon, my guy. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. All right.